All right, you guys, different spot today. We are in Murrieta, Lionel Brown's home gym, Metroflex. Lionel, thanks for having us in your house, man. Thank you for having me. Same monster, different playground. That's right. <laughs> Actually, we've been to the, remember, we shot years ago uh, at the one in Long Beach. In my hometown, Long That's Beach. That's right. Yeah. LBC, man. That's right, LBC. And now you're uh, in Murrieta. This is close to your house, close yeah, to where you live. I live in Temecula. This okay. gym is located in Murrieta, which is about 13 minutes away from my house. Nice. Yeah. And how long have you been training at this gym? You said you... Since it opened. Okay, so it's, it's 2017 or so? Yeah, 2017, October okay. 2017, I believe. And you still train a lot of people here? Still train people here, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You look, you look big, man. You, uh, what do you weigh to, uh, today? I am 276 right now. 276? Mm -hmm. And when's the last time we, sh we shot? Do you remember? Oh, about, exactly, about two years ago, man. Is it been two years? It's been two years. I Holy I crap. two years ago, yeah. Wow, a lot's been happening since for the past two years. You kind of, uh, I don't want to say you went on the ground because obviously you were here, but you know, when you're not in Venice, I mean, you do come popping at goals here and there. Every now and then. When, when I don't see you all the time, it just seems like, you know, you disappear a little bit. That's why people go to goals at goals, I guess. Well, a lot, you know, it happened, you know, uh, I don't want to say anything bad, but I just, uh, I just kind of contemplated just kind of almost walking away from the sport. Really? And uh, just, just really frustrated with the way things were going. And, um, mentally, it could just, it can wear on you. But you know, uh, I've always been pretty tough upstairs. So I just, I didn't make any decisions on impulse. I just uh, thought it through and just decided to not compete last year and just give my mind a break from it, but still train, actively train, get up and do my cardio, follow a good uh, diet plan. Um, and for some reason, man, I think because I let my mind rest, things just kind of took off physically. And I was seeing things on my body that I had never seen before. Like things were just growing. And, and then I was getting bigger and I was weighing more and I lean, less body fat. I mean, I've been at a certain body, like a body weight, and but I would have a lot more body fat on me, man. And just, but this time, no, I'm waking up and I'm seeing abs. Wow. I'm waking up, I'm seeing separation here and there. And I'm just getting tighter. So I was like, you know what? I think I'm on to something. So just let me keep going. So the more I kept my mind off of a competition or like a show date, things just kept progressively happening for me in a good way. It's good because I, I think sometimes, or at least for some people, not having a deadline, uh, they, they kind of uh, like lost a little bit. They just they have nothing to focus on, you know, so they kind of just don't make any progress. But in your case, it's actually a good thing. Yes. It's actually something that just removes the stress out of the equation. Exactly. Right? Because it can wear on you, man. You yeah. Know? It can really wear on you. Yeah. So um, you took 2019 off. Completely So off. you compete you compete in 18? I didn't compete in uh, oh. eight. well, no. 18. 18, yeah. 19. Did you compete in 18? I believe I did. Okay. I believe I did, yeah. Okay. How many years have you been, have you been a pro, Lionel? When did you get your pro card? I got my pro card in 2006 at the Nationals in Miami. That's right, 2006. I'm a veteran. That's when G won the Olympia. That's a good year, 06. Yeah, yeah. I, I was there when he won. I was there. I know. That's awesome. Yeah. And then um, you were doing the because you've always lived around this area. I remember I went to your house one. You always yeah. you always live around Temecula. Yeah. And you were doing the drive to Venice. You were there like several days a week. Mm -hmm. uh, that's commitment, dude. It's a lot of commitment. That's what Jay would say uh, uh, full time, right? Yeah. He would call that full time yeah, body Full time body but I mean, I've heard stories where Jay used to drive from Vegas to go see Steve Murphy. That's in right. Just for that. Just for that deep tissue massage. Yeah, once a week. Yeah, once a week. And then go right back. Go right back. Yeah, yeah that's commitment. Um, why did you um, why did you decide? I mean, I understand the non competing thing to give your body a break and your mind a break, you know, from, from the stress of it. But why did you decide to train here? Obviously, the gym is great, you know. But not to go to the gold as much. Is there a reason for that, or? You know what? Um, when I came here, I was training like a 24-hour fitness out here, mm -hmm. and I just ah, uh, there's no motivation there. I just couldn't stand it, man. Yeah. I was I was just really tired of it. I feel like uh, I couldn't push myself. Like I was obviously the biggest fish in the pond over there. Yeah. Um, this energy just wasn't great at all to me. And I, when this opened up, I had came in here and. The vibe and environment, it felt more of me. Ryan welcomed me with open arms, told me this is your home. 
you know, basically kind of just gave me the keys here, pretty much. So it's your home, man. So I came here and got comfortable. You know, I love the gym. I love the equipment. I love the environment, the atmosphere. I create my own atmosphere in here, and it's good. It's good energy. And um, obviously, you got to have that when you're at this level of, yeah. of bodybuilding. You got to have that good energy and that atmosphere. And um, I just get zoned out and I do my thing, man. You know. Do you like the fact a little bit that you kind of like uh, away from the eyes and away from from nobody knows what you're doing? And do you like that? I love it. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I, you know what, man? I was telling myself this last night. I said, you know, I don't mind being off the radar. You know. Uh, they see what I'm doing still. Of course they do. You know, especially when you show up over there, like yeah. here and there. It's they, like, they, they see what I'm doing. Yeah. You know, I get DMs from certain people. Um, but um, yeah, it's it's good for me to to be off the radar, stay off people's minds. Yeah. Well, I know because when <laughs> when Jay came here to train a few weeks ago, maybe like a month or so ago, mm -hmm. he saw you, and then that's when he texted me. He says, "You need to come and shoot Lionel. Yeah, <laughs> he, he's yeah. huge right now. Yeah, that that right there. You know, that's when everything kind of starts turning because when you got like a guy like Jay who encourages you with positive words and that, that was just a ton of motivation right there I was like yeah, you know what man something you're onto something like, yeah. I was right I'm up to something something's going right yeah because if Jay pulled me to the side and said something I knew like you know what man <laughs> you're doing something right big train let's just get this man <laughs> Well, you seem to be in a good headspace, and I always tell people when people when I feel people are, are in a good headspace, that's always a good thing because everything starts up here. You know, if this is wrong, it's really hard for the body to follow. Right? It is, yeah. So you can't you can't make the you can't make any pro progression when your head is not in the right place. Yeah, you're not going to be good with your meal planning because you're not you're just not focused. You're not there. Yeah, yeah. You know? What do you want to do? What's your, um, can you, do you want to say, I don't know if you want to say just yet, but do you, do you plan on competing in 2020? Let's I, just say oh, that. Absolutely. 100%. Okay. Yes, Good. I do. Good. Because you're not, you're not, <laughs> you're not, I mean, you're heavy right now, but you're not fat. You told me the biggest you've ever been with is about 305, but nowhere near this kind of condition. So no, now no, you're no. 276 in a much leaner lean. spot. Yeah. yeah. Much leaner so, spot. What would you say? I don't want. I want. I don't want you to give it away. But what would you? What would you say? How long would you? Would you think it would take you right now to get show to be show ready? Thirteen weeks. Okay. Wow. Nice. <laughs> you didn't even hesitate. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I've, I've been there long enough, and I can just like I can look at somebody, and yeah. I can tell. Hey, it's gonna take this person this long. I look at myself. Yeah, it's gonna. It's, yeah, it's gonna. That's awesome. Weeks. Are you working with anyone? Uh, you, do you have a training partner? Do you have a nutritionist? Who are you working with right now? Anybody? Uh, I have somebody in, in mind. I've already had this conversation with Jay about it. Um, I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna make that phone call because I do have some shows in mind that I want to do. You know, um, I'm. Just, I'm ready, man. I'm assertive. Um, I feel like that that heavyweight boxer pretty much, man, he's everybody just doesn't have him on their mind anymore. But deep down inside he's he has that that outstanding punch. This is gonna come that out of knockout nowhere. punch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It just takes one. This takes one. <laughs> That's it. Just one. Wow, man, I'm excited. <laughs> I wish I, I wish you I, I know you don't want to say, but I wish you would tell me more. I guess you, I guess I, 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 I gotta see your I get, face because I, I know you, Dave. I guess I'm gonna have to come back. <laughs> I, I gonna have cool. to come back man. You need to let us know when you're closer to their no, show so I we can actually. Keep you, you know, yeah, keep man. Or oh, we well, need to shoot at Golds, or you know, it'd be yeah. kind of cool to have you back over there. I just know that whenever we shoot you over there, and we just saw you with Jay recently, and you know, everybody's there. Dexter's glad to see you. Everybody's <laughs> glad to see you. When you come back, it's kind of like, oh fuck, <laughs> long lost a brother that we we get to see again. So it's always nice to see you. I'm glad that you're coming once in a while to see us over there otherwise it's like you're right people can tend to forget about you but that's kind of what you want i, I just a you know I, you know I had, when they um they hung my picture up on the wall over there i know and i didn't even go down there when they first hung it up you know it took how did that happen I, did about you four what, months how did that what did you ask them they just did it just like that or? Was, you know the picture was supposed to be on the wall after right after i won the turn pro oh yeah so in I was, 06. I was, yeah, that, yeah. It was, and, I, and I never, they told me that they would do it. Okay. And, you know, management back then. And I never, you know, I just forgot about it. I didn't really, it didn't really. You didn't press the issue. Yeah. I didn't press the issue because it really didn't really care. To, yeah. I didn't care too much at the time, <laughs> you know. But then I got a phone call and, uh, yeah, it's all good things. That's a good one, too. <laughs> you, look, you look crazy in that picture. <laughs> Thank you.
That's awesome. We'll have to show it next time. Hopefully, we shoot we film over there, so we'll show it yeah. on camera. Yeah. Um, anything that you would like to? What would be? What would be a dream year for you in 2020? What What would need to happen for, for you to say? This is a This is a dream year for me. You know I'm what? sure it's up there. It's in your head. You know what, Dave? I'm gonna I'm gonna verbalize it, man. Yeah. Man, dude, it would be sweet. It would be the sweetest circle of completion in my bodybuilding career, so I can end this chapter. Is to just be on the Olympia stage, man. To be at the press conference and just sitting up there looking at all my peers and looking at everybody and just really just looking at the table. It's like I'm here. Wearing the Olympia suit. I'm really suit. here, and I'm looking at my tag. And I'm like, damn, this is, I'm really here, man. Yeah, you man. Know? That's the dream of every bodybuilder, right? Yes. That's why we get into this. Yeah. I mean, to if, begin you, with. If, if you don't if you don't think like that, then you shouldn't be doing this. Yeah. If you don't dream and think big like that and want to be on that stage, then you shouldn't be doing this. Of course. If you're doing this just to look good and show off in the gym, you're in the wrong business, man. Yeah. I mean, it's hard enough just to get pro status. And then once you get pro status, you got to start all over again. Pretty much, yes. Till till you make it to the Olympia. Yes. So, how old are you, Lionel? <laughs> Can you say that? Because you still look so young. You guys, who, who did I see? We said Johnny Jackson. I was just doing an interview with yeah. Johnny at the Fit Expo. And you know he's coming back to the mm -hmm. Arnold. He's mm -hmm. six, five weeks out now. And he just, he's 49, he told me. I was like, holy crap, I can't believe how he's, good he's you look. Me, but I'm 48. He looks great. <laughs> you guys don't look your age at all. Yeah. So that's bodybuilding. Keeps you, keeps you young, man. Yeah. Right? That's it's awesome. Just a, it's just a number, man. Of you course know? it is. Well, you know the the two twelve guys, forty eight guys, we Olympia 48. for the first time at forty eight years old. Yeah, I'll still outwork a youngster though in a minute. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. I mean, what else would you do if you don't do this? This is your passion, man. You love this. Man, I love training people. Man. Yeah, I love getting people in shape. Um, I have some other things on the horizon that I'm looking forward to, but um, just I mean, how could I just like not tell people what I love? Tell people what has helped me in life. Yeah. What has helped shape me? Yeah, I give back. Just, yeah, I can't yeah. say that you know this this sport didn't do anything for me. This sport has done a lot for me mentally. Man. Yeah, it's shaped me. It's molded me in certain areas of my life. It's turned weaknesses into strengths. Yeah, you know. Is there when you were coming up and you were still going to school? Uh, did you know you wanted to be a pro bodybuilder? Did you did you have like a career in mind, something you wanted to do? Man, I wanted to be a a, a pro running back. Oh, okay, football. I ran track and I play football. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So that's it's interesting sometimes to ask people what they would have liked to do. You know, but yeah. uh, once I asked uh, Robbie Robinson the question, he says, oh, I would love to be in fashion, and I would have never guessed that. Yeah. So it's kind of funny. What yeah, I, just, in I idolized back then, man. I idolized Marcus Allen and Herschel Walker and Bo Jackson. Those, I wanted to be those guys. So an athlete always. That's what you wanted to be, mm -hmm. pro athlete. Mm -hmm. Well, you made it. You are a pro athlete. a pro athlete. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Uh, you want to introduce us to someone real quick, so we're going to bring him over, Lionel. But... Uh, is he here or? Yeah, oh, there you go. Over there. Here. there you go. And who is this? Introduce yourself. Uh, hi, I'm Ryan with Primal Function. Um, I focus on mobility coaching, helps keep l train nice and flexible and able to get into those poses, uh, as well as feeling good and staying healthy while he's training. Awesome. Are you uh, Ryan, right? Yes, sir. Are you actually working out of this gym? Do you actually I do. do you yeah, have an office here? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yep. Very cool. How long have you been working in this place? I've been here about six months. I've been in the industry about seven years. Wow. Okay. You look really young. How old are you? 28. Wow. Uh, he's a baby. <laughs> Compared to us, he's a baby. <laughs> That's awesome. I could be his father. So, so he's the one keeping you pliable and he's kind of like a younger uh, Steve Murphy a little bit. Yeah. He's, yeah, he, yeah. 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 He is. <laughs> he's very knowledgeable, man. He's, uh, he takes his craft really serious. Um, he said he could uh, work with me one time and... Uh, He's, he's on it. He sees me. If I go up to him and I feel something, he he drops whatever he's doing and takes care of me right there it, on the spot. It's nice that he's here on location because it's, you don't have to drive all the way to Newport Beach or somewhere else. Yeah. You know? So it's nice to have that in-house. Yeah. Uh, do you want to give your uh, Instagram or uh, uh, contact info? Yeah, Ryan? if you're interested, um, Primal Function PT on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, shoot me a DM. If you have any questions at all, I'm here to help. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ryan. Absolutely. Thank you. What about Lou Lionel? If people are interested in uh, doing some, some training with you or if they're in the area, what is, uh, how, where can they uh, reach you? You can go to my website, www.ltrainbrown.com, my IG, ltrainbrown, and just uh, shoot me a DM or uh, shoot me an email at uh, ltrainbrown1.lb at gmail.com.
Boom, there you go. So we're all in the know now. Lionel, thank you so much for inviting us thank in you, your Dave. home here. And I want to give a shout out to Jay for having me on Color TV. <laughs> of man. course. You're always invited. I told you, man. <laughs> as long as you tell us when to do it, we'll do it. You, know, yeah. you have a standing up, uh, invitation, but I hope that uh, you tell us closer to the show whenever you choose the show. I will. And then we'll get to f film again, uh, you know, pre contest. I think it'll be great to see uh, what you look like. And I can't wait for you to uh, step on stage again, man. Very exciting. Thank you. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank buddy. you for having me.